Hey guys, welcome back to Music Talk with John. Today I'm going to continue talking about my blues music, my blues albums. Like I said in the last video, still learning a lot about the blues, but it doesn't mean I can't buy the albums and learn from my albums. Don't, don't have to know everything about the album right, right away. All I have to know is when I put it on, it sounds really good. And eventually the songs start sticking and you start recognizing songs and all those things. So anyway, we're going to get into it. I changed my little music note back there to go with the mood. Should have done that in the last one. Got the little blue music note going on back there. And I'm going to just kick back. Not quite a dulled hour, but I'm my... not endorsing it. This is my Bob Dylan Heaven's Door Whiskey. So a friend of mine's making fun of me these days because I'm drinking... Uh, peanut butter whiskey so you guys can make fun of me all you want I like peanut butter whiskey this is not peanut butter whiskey this is a nice straight rye whiskey and should put me in the mood a little bit for this so even have my cool I'm posing out as much as possible today even have my can't I don't know if you can see it but my house of blues glass but I bought this just to drink whiskey out of so posing it up so That's good. Anyway, so we're going to start here or continue on. I left off, I think, with uh, John Mayall and the Blues Breakers in the last ep uh, video. So let's see what we have here. This is Slim Harpo, Baby Scratch My Back. Come here, baby. Scratching my back. Right here. This guy I was not familiar with, and I was in the record store talking to, I go to Kingfish Records over in Clearwater, and they recently switched hands. Uh, but Pat, the previous owner, he recommended this one to me. And he's always, he, he kind of got, after I got to know him after a couple years, he, he knew what I was into and recommended some stuff that I really did enjoy. So this is one of them. So he is a, uh, Slarpo, or Slim Harpo is a, a blues guitarist. And like I said, this is called Baby Scratch My Back. And the quintessential swamp blues specimen in mighty mono glory. So, good blues album. Definitely one I like to put on from time to time. And I apologize for looking down. Camera's up here, monitor's down there. So, it's a little strange. So, I got to keep remembering to look up there at you guys. Next, another guy I was new to, and love this album. This is Mississippi John Hurt, and it's called Today. Oh, Corrine, why are you being so long? And the songs on here are Payday, I'm Satisfied, Candyman, Make Me a Pallet on the Floor, Talking Casey, Karina, Karina, Coffee Blues, Louise Collins, Hot Time in the Old Town Tonight, if You Don't Want Me Baby, Spike Driver's Blues, and B B Bula Land. Bula Land? Bula Land. So this is a nice blues album right here. And I like, you know, it's the older look. And you know, kind of like what I like about the jazz albums. It's got like sort of a simple cover and the colors are just right. Um, but the back is, you know, has all that information, that story. And I love reading about that. And this is where you really learn about your artists. And I should be doing more reading because I should know more about this guy. But this is a nice album that I like to put on. So that's Mississippi John Hurt today. And he's a good good uh, blues guitar player. Next I have Lightning Hopkins. And this is Bring Me My Shotgun, the Essential Collection. Whoa, go bring my shotgun. Limited edition on white vinyl. Let's we'll see. You guys want to see the white vinyl? The pretty white vinyl because you know color matters when it's all about sound. And that's some white right there. Don't know why they went with a white color, really. Sometimes you wonder what why they picked certain colors for albums. But anyway, this is Lightning Hopkins. Bring me my shotgun. I'm trying to get the glare off there for you so you can see that. Good guitar player, blues guitar guy. And that's uh, Lightning Hopkins. Next we have John Lee Hooker. And if you don't know John Lee Hooker, then you don't know the blues. This is definitely one of those guys 
that those go-to guys for the blues. It's his, um, that's where it's at. This is definitely a good blues album. I, I love the look at this. And this is, um, this is on Stax Records, so this is a good reissue, and this is a really good sounding album. And the stripped down solo outing features a legendary bluesman on electric guitar performing a moody selection of songs, including Going to Louisiana and Feel So Bad. I just love the way that album cover looks. And the, the back, I, just, I don't know, something about that old school look. It's just really cool. They did a good job. They put it on decent cardboard, so the, the album's protected pretty well. And this is a stereo version of the album. So check him out if you haven't checked out John Lee Hooker. He's probably... He's probably a good beginner guy for people who are getting into the blues. All right, here I have another John Lee Hooker. And this is Don't Turn Me From Your Door. Don't turn me from your door. This is on Speaker's Corner. And they're saying this LP is an entirely analog production. So you guys who have to have that analog and no digital, here you go. This is one for you. Stacks record, and this one sounds really good. This is uh, made from the original analog master tapes. Only the best mastering studios worldwide. Pure analog audiophile mastering. 180 gram vinyl. Faithful reproduction of original artwork and labels. And yeah, just like the other one, I just like how these look. And there you go. Kind of like the jazz album. You have your, your songs and you have your story behind it. And usually the only thing different is the... Personnel and maybe they, they usually tell about the personnel in the, in the in in the story here, but jazz will usually have the songs on the back and they'll have the people listed who are on the album. So this is a good blues album here by John Lee Hooker, and it's "Don't Turn Me From Your Door." Okay, another John Lee Hooker. That's my story. I'm gonna use my run. Oh, yeah. John Lee Hooker sings the blues, and I that. Just like this cover, look at that. I mean, that's just cool with him and that guitar. Yeah, just those fingers look like they're made for playing that blues guitar. Yeah, just like that. And the back is cool. Like I said, that old school look there. So it's Riverside High Fidelity. It's definitely a reissue. It's, uh, it was recorded in New York, February 9th, 1960. So it includes the song. So it is cool. It's like an old jazz album here in, in the aspect that it gave you all the guys who are on the album and what they're playing so that i like when you know right away who's on there so you can get familiar with names so another good sounding album these early john lee hooker albums are just excellent he has a distinct voice and um, style all right take a little break good year okay Next we have, what a surprise, somebody who I haven't mentioned yet, John Lee Hooker. And this is John Lee Hooker plays and sings the blues. I want to apologize to you. This is on 180 gram vinyl. This is wax time. This thing sounds really good. Um, I think it's just on black vinyl. Nothing, yeah, nothing fancy there. Unless black vinyl is fancy. There you go. So he plays the blues, all music. A 1961 chess album filled with gems from Hook's Heyday. And it says it was originally issued by Chess Records in 1961. John Lee Hooker plays and sings the blues is primarily Hooker's solo performance. And the master charges ahead with nothing but his raw electric guitar, soul drenched, world weary vocal delivery, and his foot to keep a rhythm. So this is cool. Yeah, it's a limited edition. That's cool. Back looks good. I just like, you know, they when you put together a nice little back cover and things like that, it really makes the album pop. And I, I think sometimes that makes people, you know, buy the albums. And they just see like, man, that looks like a blues guy. And like a like that last album I was telling you about with those look at those fingers, man. Those are just like I mean, I always, you know, I've played guitar Got that acoustic back there. But I just don't have those fingers. I just got these sh short things, man. These, If you look at blues guys, they just have these nice, long, thin fingers that just wrap around the neck. It's just jealous of those fingers. So anyway, you have that. And I don't know if this is just 
old hype stuff here, uh, concert poster, but it has your information on there. And all tracks were composed by John Lee Hooker, with the exception of Worried Life Blues and Please Don't Go. So if you see that out there and you're looking for blues, I can recommend this one as a good sounding album. All right, and then we have Jimmy Duck Holmes, and this is Cypress Grove. What if I clean up? Can I go home? A guy I never heard of. I don't. I I know there's a lot of blues people out there, but he's not like one that you hear of every day. Not that I have. If you have heard of this guy, definitely leave a comment down there. But just a good, solid, nice sounding blues album. Flows nice. Uh, you can put it on and chill back. You know, have a little drinky drink with it and enjoy it and feel the blues. This guy's just an excellent player, and I definitely recommend this album. It sounds great. This says, new studio album produced by Dan Arbuck featuring Catfish Blues and Train Train from the uncanny Mississippi Bluesman with guitar performances by Dan Arbuck and Marcus King. And Marcus King, you should check that, that kid out too. He just, just put out a new album, so you should check him out. That's the back side. I like that. It's cool. It works works for me and that front cover there you go playing that blues guitar man hey that's my second uh insert or second edition of the uh of videos featuring my blues albums like i said i've been going through my pop and rock and i really haven't talked about my blues or my jazz so i need to do a couple jazz ones too and i hope i don't lose you guys i'm just showing you know i have a pretty i i feel an eclectic taste there are some areas i don't go into I kind of brush along but never really reach out to and that's probably like you know rap and um real heavy metal things like that i just don't really get into i just kind of there's some hard stuff i listen to but there's certain areas i don't go into um but i, I like to think that i have a pretty good uh array um pretty good selection of music that i listen to you know i'll go from fleetwood mac to led zeppelin one day to the blues over here so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed watching this. And if you have any comments, definitely let me know. Any blues artists you'd like to suggest to me, put it down there in the comments. Please hit that like button and subscribe so you can see other episodes like this. And, and until next time, you guys enjoy your music and you take care out there. Bye.